So my name is Aisha Kiani. I am the founder and executive director of iDream Library. We are based in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, on the unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh nations. Human beings, thank you so much for joining me at the Learning Center. I'm so glad that you guys came. I'm Chanel Tai. I am a teacher, and I teach grade four, five, and six mostly, and seven sometimes when I'm excitable. So what we're doing here today in the Learning Center is called an equity assessment. Today we had the kids come in and take apart our library to help me highlight books that have underrepresented stories. An equity assessment really frames your classroom library as a space for truth-telling and harmonizing and accountability. I cannot stress how much we can do just by changing the stories that we tell. Hands up if you know what identity is. Okay, some of us know, some of us So the first thing that we did is Chanel spoke to them about the concept of identity. And to do that, she used an identity card. When we talk about justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion, the first step is just diversity, for them to understand that we are different. On our identity cards, we can just see our gender our phone number, our date of birth, our address, and our picture of what we look like. Any other things that make us who we are. From there, what they did is they expanded on other aspects of identity. Like what you like to do, what your personality is, what you enjoy. Let's say my identity is me being a pretty fun guy to hang around with. And then you can move on to, okay, so we're all different, that's okay, but how does it play out in real life? It's important to help kids move towards understanding that there are inequities in the world. And in order for us to have justice and inclusion, we've got to even the playing field. Take, take a deep, deep, deep breath. I want people to feel excited about doing this work. And I think that happens when we allow fun to be a really big part of how we begin social justice work. So you go around and then when the music stopped, You take that pile of books. Okay, grab your book pile, we'll take it back. We encouraged the children to be joyful and then pick up these heavy books and take on this really important activity. My favorite part was probably when we were looking through the books and trying to figure out what they were about based on their cover. They were able to take that joy into the act of doing the equity assessment. The thing that's so beautiful about children is they're able to relate to experiences. Yeah, like sometimes, or I'll be reading something and they'll be saying what the character likes and they'll say a whole bunch of things that I really like, then it's kind of like, is it me in the book? <laughs> I think one of the most beautiful things is watching a child unearth a story that is reflective of themselves. The book I like is Woosh, because it relates a lot about me. Because he likes to make things, I like to make things. He amazes people in the class, I amaze people in the class by showing them my tricks. It's also really beautiful watching a child make good decisions about learning about other ways of being and other ways of knowing in the world. I learned that she was a young black girl and she had like a very big family in a place with not very many black people. I'm really inspired by the books that the children chose today as their favorites. The selection does so much to speak to reconciliation towards black, queer, and indigenous immigrant communities. Stories are who we are. For a lot of us, the stories that we get told to us at school or in the media, even at home, they don't reflect our realities. As a queer kid of color going up through school, I never saw myself reflected, and I never felt like I mattered. The way that the public can take accountability happens in classrooms. I think what we saw today is none of these children have engaged in an equity assessment before. This is something brand new to them. This work is hard. It is complex, but not impossible. Bring the kids along the journey with you, right? You don't have to be knowledgeable about everything. Take it one step at a time. You can give yourself a little bit of grace as you move into this. What you're doing is supporting a generational impact 
As these children leave educational spaces, they will grow to become policymakers, lawmakers, bus drivers, parents, and at every level of society, support and develop a muscle memory for kindness.